I've been poking around booktube quite a bit lately. If you're unfamiliar, a booktuber is basically somebody who has a YouTube channel that's focused on books. And so while I do talk about books quite a bit on my channel, I'm way too unfocused in terms of all the other things I talk about to be considered a booktuber. But I do enjoy following several channels that are booktubers. One of which is a channel called Tia and All the Books. and. Recently, that particular YouTuber put out a video that she called the Book Snob Book Tag, in which she answered a bunch of Book Snob related questions. And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to copy down those questions and I'm going to go over them myself and carry forward the Book Snob Book Tag. Let's get right into the questions. Question number one, Adaptation Snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? Now, here's the thing. I don't really watch very many movies or TV shows, so it's a pretty rare occurrence for me to see a movie. But if I did watch them more regularly, most of the time I would definitely like to read the book before I saw the movie. Unless it's something that I don't necessarily care about enough to actually read the book. I guess if I am going to do both, it's book first, then movie. Otherwise, maybe it's just a fun film and I don't care enough about it to devote the time to the book as well. So in principle, it is definitely book first. Question number two, format snob. You can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which one do you choose? Physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks? <laughs> this is a, an easy question for me. 100% physical books. I have never in my life read an ebook, nor have I ever in my life listened to an audiobook. I just like to have that physical book in hand. I don't like the thought of having to stare at a screen to read my books. And as for audiobooks, my attention span is way too fleeting. I would find myself drifting off thinking about other things and I'd have to find a way to rewind and re-listen again and I don't it would be hard for me to keep my focus if I was trying to listen to the book if I had somebody else reading it to me. Plus then I can also flip back to reference other things that happened previously in the book which I do fairly often particularly when it comes to forgetting who a character was or what their significance is. So yeah 100% physical books. Question three. Ship snob. Would you date or marry a non-reader? Well, my wife, who suddenly left me last year, was a non-reader. So what does that show you? Hmm. Um, it's one of those things where it's not a high priority as far as what I like about a person. But it is the type of thing where I think the more you have in common with somebody, the more interests you share with each other, the more fun you can have together as a couple. So yeah, if we had other interests in common, I guess it wouldn't be that big a deal if my partner was not a book reader. Let's just say that I would love it if I had a partner who was a reader, but it's not a deal breaking item. Question four, genre snob. You have to ditch one genre, never to be read again for the rest of your life. Which one do you ditch? Now, I could make it easy for myself and say a genre that I've never read. Like, I've never read a romance or erotica. I've never read horror. So it would be easy to pick a genre like that. But... It says I have to ditch the genre, which implies that the genre is part of my experience and I have to get rid of it. So picking a genre that I have read some books in, I'm going to go with science fiction, which is going to be weird giving uh, the answer to my next question here. I think it's the next one. But the thing with science fiction is in order to write a science fiction book, you need to invent science naturally. You need to invent often other worlds, other universes. And you need to therefore devote a lot of time to technical writing, to explaining your science, your technologies, your worlds. And so there's a lot of time devoted to the technical breakdown of what things are and how they work, which tends to bore me a lot of the time. It 
tends to, in my experience, detract from the actual storytelling. Now, I love this fantasy genre, and it could be argued that, okay, well then you gotta take time to break down your fantasy world, your creatures, your magic system, it's the same thing. But in that instance, what is being described is far more interesting to me, to hear about a whole new world, or new interesting creatures, or magic. I'm okay with having all that explanation done for me, because it's fun and exciting for me as opposed to more of a technical, mathy, science-y type of thing, as much as I do love science in real life. So that's essentially why I'm going with science fiction. Now did I give away my next question? Question 5 is uber genre snob. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? And here I'm choosing fantasy. So I mean I do read books of many different genres and typically I'll go back and forth between reading a fiction, a non-fiction, a fiction, a non-fiction. And when I'm reading fiction I'm not reading, reading exclusively fantasy, but in recent years I have been drawn more and more to reading mostly fantasy just because I have a desperate need for my mind to be taken away from this world and from real life and sent off to a new and magical interesting place. So I'm quite happy living in the fantasy realm for the rest of my reading life. Having said that though, I realized that last year all the fantasy books I read I didn't particularly love so I didn't have very good luck with my fantasy books last year hopefully this year I'll do better with that moving on to question six community snob which genre do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community unfortunately I don't know enough about the book community at large I don't use social media at all other than I have a Facebook account where I po post my YouTube videos whenever I upload a new one but li I literally have no other social media presence so I'm not necessarily in tune with what people are say saying other than through watching YouTube videos and the type of videos I watch are the ones that talk about the books I tend to skip the ones that are talking about the you YouTube book community. I don't need to take a step beyond books to know about people who are talking about books. Just tell me about the books, in other words. So I don't know which, which genre receives the most snobbery from the larger community. Other people on YouTube who've answered this specific question have said romance is that genre as far as they know and so I'll just take their word for it and go with that. Question number seven, the final question is snobbery recipient. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you have been reading or for reading in general? I don't really think so. I mean, if anything, I was self-snubbing by doing that. I mean, I grew up as a total bookworm when I was a kid and I was more happy sitting in my room with a book than being outside playing with the neighborhood kids. So. In that sense, I wasn't being snubbed because of the hobby of reading, but I was certainly isolating myself partly because of that. And I can't think of any times where I've been given garbage for reading a particular book either. I just don't think I've generally hung out with very snobby people. So again, unfortunately I can't really answer that question very well. So that's my best attempt at the book snob book tag. I'm going to have these questions in the description to the video. If you feel like writing your own answers to them in the comments below, I'd be very interested to hear what your perspectives are. And don't forget to check out Tia and all the books. I will put the link to her original video below as well. And as always, I am interested in hearing what you are currently reading too, and whether or not you're enjoying it. The preceding video has been brought to you free of charge by me, Josh. The only thing I ask in return is that you could do one of the following. Give me a thumb up, push the subscribe button, or share the link to this video with somebody who you think would enjoy it. Cheers. A booktuber is basically... Oh, what am I talking about? I'm getting kind of sidetracked with this question, but it's not a make it or break it deal.
bei I realized that I didn't even I don't need to know what's I don't need to spend time on and so those are my best particular so anyhow I don't like how I'm answering these questions